But anyway, um, real quick, what do you think of my wig? <laughs> I think <laughs> I if I if I'm being honest, uh-huh. I feel like your wig looks like you're about to go to a Shania Twain concert. Oh my god, I am. <laughs> <laughs> So her and I were at a wig store a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. This is one of the wigs that I bought. I used to be this color. My real hair is this color. When I met her, she was that brown. Yeah, Uh my real hair is this color. And I I don't know that I like it. But um, today's wig is inspired by Shania Twain. Because my daughter and I are going to go see her this Friday at Blossom. Oh, how exciting. I'm super excited. I bought her two tickets for her birthday last October. And I'm a little nervous because I've been on TikTok. And there are... Real people out there hating on her in her concert, oh. um, like her tour this year, saying oh, no. that it's really bad and that she's lip syncing and that she's spaced out. What? And so I've, I went on TikTok and I saw some of them. I'm like, oh shit, I hope not. But then there are some people on TikTok that are like, this was the best show ever. Yeah, I mean. But it does show her being like kind of like out there in a few of her concerts that's and stuff odd. so i don't know what's going on with it but she certainly I would never need to shania twain that's with it for friday night that she doesn't seem like the type of person that would um, no, need to know. lip sync i know but it did show her like one guy was recording it and it showed her like oops lip sync and she was off hmm. and i was like oh i hope not let's name all the people that would never need to lip sync because they are just that good of singers adele would oh, never yeah, in yeah. life need to uh-huh. lip sync <gasps> stevie mm. nicks Whitney Houston would never need to because her she's got good pipes. Um, mm, well, Christina Agu- the end, she kind of did, but she still didn't need did to. Did you watch the movie? I did watch the movie, but <laughs> <laughs> she did not need to lip sync. Her shit was on point. Mariah Carey, in theory, is another person that mm-hmm. should never need to lip sync. Ooh, L. King. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's another person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who else? I don't know. Lots of them, probably. What guys don't need to? <gasps> little, little Yante. Little Yachty. Or, oh, Yachty. <laughs> Yante. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. I did that on purpose, you guys. I was just kidding. <laughs> just to get a reaction out of Merrick. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> little, lot, little Yachty. Um, I feel like he needs a lip sync, but that's just me. I don't know. His, I'm not familiar. <laughs> Who, what guy is like a, such a bomb ass singer he does not need a lip sync? Millie Vanilli. Oh, don't you know it's true? <laughs> oh, wait. Mm-hmm. They did get caught. I want you. Um, let me think. I don't know. Who's a really good dope singer that's a guy? I'm sure there's plenty. Bob Seeger. See, I'm I'm old school. I like my Bob Seeger. I like my Stevie Nicks. I like my Eagles. I like my 70s classic rock. Your Johnny Cash. My Johnny Cash. He's not 70s classic rock, but yeah. All of that good stuff. I mean who's your favorite singer? Who's your favorite singer of all time? Oh, that is such a good question. And you're putting me on the spot. It depends. I have categories. Like if you're talking R and B hip hop, I have somebody. If you're talking just pop, just I, your favorite singer uh, overall. I mean, if I had to pick a favorite singer right now on the spot, I'd say Prince. <gasps> Do you know I saw Prince in concert? I know. It's the one thing that you've got over me, but I saw Michael Jackson in person, so Oh damn. And and Michael's another one that is another mm-hmm. singer that has no business lip syncing. No. Uh-uh. No, um, yeah, I saw Prince in Cleveland, and I have to tell you, that is the only concert I literally cried at. I <laughs> would see cry. all of these people crying at concerts, and literally- You're we that si- sucker. We were sitting there waiting, and like everybody was like doing that thing, you know, waiting for him to come on, and um, all of a sudden, the lights go out, and purple mist comes your law swear to god i swear on everything i swear on everything that would be so Purple amazing mist comes down out of like the ceiling or whatever heavens. it's very the heavens <laughs> <laughs> it is very purpley and misty and hazy mm. and then um it's dark and then purple lights come on on the stage and then you hear that chord hit and then all the next thing you see is Prince rising up out of the stage. Cheers. And that, <laughs> I was with like five girlfriends and everybody was like screaming and yelling. And um, you hear that chord and he opened up with When Doves Cry. <sighs> Can you imagine? Holy shit, that was amazing. Let me just tell you, when I saw 
Michael Jackson. It was my 13th birthday. And my mom, um, she was like, we were going to, typically for my birthday, we'd go to my grandparents' house. They, everybody pretend that nothing's going on. There's a surprise every time. And I'm always like, oh, what? A surprise. <laughs> it was never a surprise because that's what we did every single year. Right. So this year, um, there'd be a cake and the whole thing, you know. So I'm now 13 and my mom, we're going to my grandparents' house like normal. And my mom was like, um, oh, let's get in the car. Let's go um, to Taco Bell, which I was like, okay, I'm 13. I don't, I was like, okay, like I've never had tacos for my birthday, but okay, that's fine. So we get in the car, we're going to Taco Bell. And I'm like, this is the longest drive to Taco Bell on earth. Like I wasn't paying attention. This is obviously before cell phones. I'm just like looking out at trees and things. And I was like, what the hell? I was like, why is it taking so long to go to Taco Bell? And she's like, we're not going to Taco Bell. And I'm like, where are we going? And, and still clueless. And never in a million years would I think she would say what she said, which was, we're going to go see Michael Jackson. And, oh, where was he? I don't remember. I was 13. <laughs> I think it was in Cleveland. But anyways, I started immediately sobbed. And I sobbed from that point until we got there. We actually, she actually somehow managed to get decent tickets. So we were like close. You know what yeah. I mean? And I just cried the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it, um, and, and he was with the Jackson five at the time too. So like they came out like, you know, it was, um, not the thriller tour or anything like that. I forget. It was the victory tour. So he had them with, them. he sang all his hits, but he would bring them out too. And I just remember thinking that it was the best gift ever. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was like such a surprise. Like yeah. that was a real surprise. Mm -hmm. And I just remember crying and just standing on my seat and crying and sobbing and pointing and and I could not Aww. wait to go back to school the next day in the seventh grade to tell everybody how I got to see him. Oh, I've never seen him. Um, but have you seen like all of these girls in, on TikTok that are um, like sobbing and crying of, um, when they go to a Taylor Swift concert? <laughs> this makes me drink. Taylor Swift and Harry Styles. And Harry Styles. I was watching one last night while I was laying in bed, and these, it was actually kind of sweet because these. Two best friends went to go see um, Taylor Swift. And the one, look, so it's like you and me sitting there and you're standing over here. And her one best, or the one girl was like holding her phone up and recording them. <laughs> and they, she had the phone out like this and Taylor Swift was coming on and she was recording the reaction. Oh my God. And they completely forgot that the phone was on and they both just bust out crying and sobbing and screaming the song. And we love you. I'm like, oh my God. Like, I don't know. Like growing up, like who was that for us? Like, uh, were you like new kids been on Mad the block? No, it would have been Madonna for me. Madonna. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mine was Michael Jackson. I I didn't really fall into Prince until later on. I didn't appreciate Prince until I think Purple Rain, the movie, came out. Mm -hmm. Then I was like, holy shit, he is actually really talented. Because mm -hmm. I always kind of was under some delusion that they were like arch enemies. So I was like, oh, he's Michael Jackson. But I don't know. Uh, God, what a loss. Honestly, we've lost some good ones. Mm -hmm. I mean, really. Yeah. I didn't yeah. ever. Um, and then, oh, I had to take my niece to see... Um, Mandy Moore, who opened up for the Backstreet Boys. So I saw the Backstreet Boys. Backstreet and by the way, when you're... All right. Exactly. Right. And when you're there, you're like, oh, I'm just like babysitting these teenagers. This is so stupid. The Backstreet Boys. And then when they oh, came out... I would have been doing the 30 whole... minutes into it, I'm like, oh, Nick's looking at me. He's pointing at me. Like, I turned into a full teenager, like a full idiot. And I'm just like, oh, I got so into it. I was like... I would too. One of those screaming teenagers. You know who loves Backstreet Boys is my daughter's fiance, John. Oh. We get in his Jeep or something, or I'm riding around in it, and that fucking song comes on all the time. And I'm literally dying, because he's like, what, 28, 29? And he loves the Backstreet Boys. I mean, Nick was going like this across the whole scene. And I'm like, he pointed at me. He pointed at me. He wasn't pointing at me. But in that moment, he wanted me. Uh -huh. yes, <laughs> and sure I did. bought it. Hook, line, and singer. And I was like throwing these stupid nieces behind me. And I'm like, I'm here. <laughs> so stupid. But I also got to see, I mean, I, oh, I went, I saw the oh, stupid O-Town. I saw the Backstreet Boys. I saw Mandy Moore. I saw, um, there was another one I saw. I don't think it was in sync though. Maybe it was. I've never seen any of them. <gasps> I mean, I had to go under obligation. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure you did. I mean, I had to. No. 